In 2022, let me tell you, the absolute first thing that you should do is try and pick up a programming language. You need to learn Python right now. Do I need to know how to code? Did you start uh, learning Bash, Python? What's the first one that, that you started with and when exactly in, in the process? Ending up with the conclusion that you should learn cybersecurity. You should learn programming for cybersecurity. The too long, don't want to watch version is no, not really. You don't need to know programming but man, does it help. An on the job scenario where I wish I knew how to code, but couldn't. What's up YouTube, what's good? Today we shall be discussing why I, a script kitty, think you should learn how to code or at least read code while you grow in this field of cybersecurity. I will preface this by saying you don't have to become an expert. This whole channel is called Script Kitty Help. <laughs> I am also personally a computer science student at heart. So LOL, gang gang. Let's get into some of the reasons why I think you should learn how to code, what languages to learn, and how to learn these things. I will steal the first reason for why I think you should learn how to code from one of my favorite YouTubers, Network Chuck. Work engineer, Python. Cloud engineer, Python. Ethical hacker, you guessed it, Python. While in and of itself might not get you a job, you'd rather have it on your resume than not. That's just the point I'm trying to make. Reason number two is that you can build your own tools and automate tasks. While there might be plenty of tools already out there, you never know when you're gonna need that one specific script and you just can't find it. Having some coding knowledge will allow you to write that script on the fly, just like that. It takes us script kitties a couple of days though. You can build key loggers, you can build port scanners, you can write malware, you can do a bunch of stuff and make your whole life a tad bit easier on the fly if you know how to code. Writing malware is kind of my third reason, kind of. It's more exploit development than anything, rather. From software debugging, shell coding, identifying and fully exploiting zero-day vulnerabilities, bypassing modern-day anti-exploit mechanisms. You can do that if you know how to code. So learn how to code. The last reason is so that you can have a bit more fun when you participate in CTFs. Most CTFs that I've participated in personally have a web category. This usually involves code reviews to identify and exploit a certain vulnerability or even write your own script to exploit a vulnerability. Now, if you don't know how to read and understand code, you're going to suffer. You're not going to be able to answer anything, get any points for your team, or if it's an individual CTF, you'll be at the bottom, the bottom of the scoreboard. Having trouble with the web category usually means you're gonna try out other categories such as Pwn, forensics, reverse engineering, miscellaneous, and uh, yeah, good luck with that. Learn how to code and you'll have fun in CTF. Maybe even win some money while at it. Now let's get into the languages to learn. Ah, uh, there's no answer for this one to be honest. It really just depends on the task at hand. PowerShell for Active Directory related stuff, Python and Ruby for exploit development, Golang and Bash for developing tools, etc. You can honestly use whatever language you're comfortable with and familiar with to get the job done, depending on how it needs to get done. Get done. Get done. Just don't be that guy that thinks you can be a network admin or a penetration tester at it while you don't know PowerShell. How dumb do you have to be? Now for the last bit of this discussion, how we're going to learn to code as cybersecurity professionals. First resource is the cybersecurity cyber academy, cybersecurity academy, cyber academy by Grant Collins, which has a bunch of projects ranging from networking, programming to a general beginner path. I think it's by Grant Collins. I shall be going through the programming path and documenting the process of writing up the Python projects I mostly find interesting and helpful, so you catch that soon enough on this channel. Subscribe if you'd like to see me watch Python. YouTube has a ton of resources and courses by people willing to teach some great and some not so great. You just have to be a bit discerning. Christy Vlad has a Python course. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Network Chuck has a Python course. The Cyber Mentor himself has a bit of a Python section in his PEH course. TCM Security has two courses for Python, Python 101 and Python 201. 
bruh you can find resources anywhere. I personally haven't tried the Python courses by TCM, but I do know that you can expect good quality from anything TCM related. So in general, there are a bunch of resources regarding coding for cybersecurity, both free and always start with the free stuff. It might not be structured and it could be a bit haphazard. Why am I repeating myself? But it's always a good start. Like I said earlier, I should be going through the Python projects from Cyber Academy so if you'd like to see how that goes, you can check out this video, I think, is it here, here, and see how our first project went. Apart from that, sub to the channel, do all that good stuff, or you might or might not be hacked. I'll catch you.